June is Pride Month and Capital City Pride is hosting a weekend full of activities that celebrates the spirit of queer joy, liberation and protest. We're talking about Capital City Pride's 45th annual Pride Fest. It's happening this weekend in the historic East Village and here to tell us more about the festivities is Wes Mullins and Cal Silverson with Capital City Pride. Thanks so much for being with us today. Of course, glad to be here. Yeah. Can you talk about, yes, you know, Pride June is Pride Month, but it's so important that we have Pride Fest and local events happening here in Des Moines. And there's so much to do, yes, this weekend, but throughout the entire month. Yeah, so I think it's critical to, to, to understand that Pride Festivals are really about making space for people to really just be themselves, um, for, for folks who are looking to connect as they're coming out. You know, I'm in my 40s now, Cal is much younger. And so, it, you know, part of the reason is to make sure that younger generations have a place to connect and to, to find their community, to experience that joy that you were just talking about, because it is a celebration weekend and a time that has a little bit of something for everyone. Oh. There are a ton of events. I mean, if you go to the website, which we do have a link to, and it will be on our website, can you talk about just what people can expect? Say, hey, if I haven't been to, you know, Des Moines Capital City Pride Fest before. Yeah, we have a lot of vendors coming of all sorts of, like, trades. So, mm -hmm. like, lots of people who bring crafts to sell. Um, there's a lot of LGBTQ vendors. And then we have an insane performance lineup this year. So, on fr uh, Friday night, we have... Uh, Rebecca Black, who sang and released uh, Friday in 2011. <laughs> so like the 14 year old me is freaking out. Same here. <laughs> um, and then later that night we have Monet Exchange from Drag Race. She won uh, All Stars 4. Uh, Saturday night we have Shea Kule, who won All Stars 5, and Gottmik, who was a runner up on season 13. And then we'll also have performances from the Des Moines Ballet of their mm -hmm. uh, recently uh, produced and created Love Letters, as well as the, uh, the Des, Moines, uh, Des Moines Men's Gay Chorus singing. Mm -hmm. So we have a ton of different performers, a ton of vendors to see, and a whole bunch of food trucks. So we're really excited about the Yeah, the lots end. of music. There's big parades as well. Yep, the, the parade is Sunday at noon, goes right down Grand. Uh, we have over 125, maybe close to 150 now entries in the parade. We're expecting like 20,000 people, so it should be a real blast to come out for the parade. That's exciting. Can you talk about just kind of how you've seen this grown over the years just in popularity for everyone? Yeah, Capital City Pride has experienced tremendous growth even just in the last five years. Um, and so uh, we've we've more than quadrupled in that time. So it's a it's uh, exciting to see Des Moines becoming a place that really wants to say to the queer community, you are welcome here. There is space for you here, uh, especially when we have seen some of the opposite of that from the state legislature over the past couple of years. Now we do also uh, we created a map so it kind of shows individuals, hey, where exactly this is in the East Village. And we also have a full screen as well that we show. So yes, you have a Pride Stride. 5k the pet parade pride parade live entertainment local vendors and then that's also your website there capitalcitypride.org where people can see truly this whole lineup to catch you know certain things that they want to find yeah, absolutely. I really encourage you to visit the website and hit the Pride Fest tab because mm -hmm. it has the full schedule with everything exactly when it's happening and where it's at because uh, there's stuff happening just like every hour on the hour just about. Yeah, what are you most looking forward to? Uh, for me, the pet parade on yeah, Saturday that's morning. Fun. That's 9.30 Saturday morning, and I can't wait to see all the pets and, you know, dogs, cats. We've had horses and snakes. Like, who knows what people will bring? It should be fun, though. Okay, yeah. so you definitely, <laughs> I think that's Saturday morning, if I remember that's correct. Right. So you're not going to want to miss it. I think 9.30. What about you? I think I'm looking forward to seeing all the local drag talent yeah. perform because they need to get their, their kudos for all the hard work they do. Oh, that's absolutely. Right. Yeah. They are superstars. All right, well, thank you so much for both being here. Once again, yes, that's all on our website website who13.com you can go to capitalcitypride.org thanks so much for being with us and you know good luck with all the festivities this weekend it's gonna be a lot of fun thank thanks you bring out the whole family yes we'll be right back with more on the news at noon right after this break